What's up, everybody, and welcome to Tino's Time Wrestling. It's the time that we've been waiting for. It's time to climb the ladder to success. It's time to take hold of the briefcase. And it's time to find out who's going to be Mrs. and Mr. Money in the Bank. This Saturday, live on Peacock, live on the WWE Network, if you're in the UK, we're going to see seven women, seven men go at it, and they're going to climb the ladder to success. We have six matches that are going to go down on the card. We have a two Money in the Bank matches. We have a tag team match. So let's not waste any more time, and let's get in to all of the matches that are going to go down at Money in the Bank live in Las Vegas this Saturday night on Peacock and the WWE Network. Before we do get to the first match that we're going to talk about, I want to give a big shout out to my man SCW for letting me be on his episode. What was the greatest money in the bank match ever? Go check out his podcast, go check out his YouTube and go find out what I think the best money in the bank match in WWE history ever was. So just wanted to give my man a shout out, but let's get into all the matches that are going to go down. And the first match that we're going to talk about, I think that they're going to start it off money in the bank Saturday with the money in the bank match. And I think it's going to be the women's and in the women's money in the bank match, we have Lacey Evans. We have Miss Alexa Bliss. Where's Lily? We have you only live once Liv Morgan, the mommy cool Raquel Rodriguez. Asuka, nobody wants to mess with Asuka. Shauncey, where did Shauncey's last name go? And the man, Becky Lynch. We've seen all of these women qualify in some some short, some sort way or fashion that they that they qualified. But Becky Lynch, I feel like had too many opportunities. I feel you know she lost the match here, she lost the match there, and then she finally was able to qualify this past Monday on Raw. It's just like, I get it. She's on the poster and everything like that. But I've heard a lot of things that I agree with. I just feel like that the money in the bank match should be elevating other superstars that aren't uh, that aren't main eventers. Why isn't Aaliyah in this? Why isn't Zia Lee in this? Why isn't somebody that just came up in this? Because look at what it's done in the past to somebody like Edge at the first money in the bank. CM Punk won it twice. Mr. Kennedy, even though he didn't cash in. Baron Corbin, Damian Sandow. I could go on and on about some of these guys that won it. Yes, we had our times with John Cena and stuff and like that. But look at what it did to The Miz, Dolph Ziggler. There's just, I feel like there should be somebody else other than Becky Lynch in this match. But, I mean, she's on the poster, so it is what it is. Can't complain. I mean, you know, whatever. But those are the seven competitors, the seven women that are in this match. So let's talk about the match. And how is this match going to go? I don't know how this is going to go. This one has been very hard for me to choose because I've been going back and forth. I don't know which one is going to win. It's like I have somebody I want to win, and there's somebody there. It's just somebody that I think is going to win. I want Liv Morgan to win. I think Liv Morgan deserves the opportunity to be Miss Money in the Bank. She's been hot. She's been on fire. The crowd's behind her. All the fans love her, and I just think that it could help Della elevate her into the main event picture and imagine her versus Bianca Belair or imagine having Liz cash or live. I almost said Liz live cash in and ha- you know, that would just be some moment that would be, that would remind me like a Dolph Ziggler or like when Paige came out at the night after WrestleMania beat AJ Lee, just something like that. So I'm going to take Liv Morgan to win this match, but I feel like it's going to be Alexa bliss or Becky Lynch. I hope it's not Becky Lynch. But I just feel like it's going to be one of those two. I don't know why, but I feel like they're not going to actually use this to make a new star. They're just going to try to use this to make Becky or Alexa better. And, you know, they both have Alexa has already cashed in, cashed in. And Becky, you know, a couple years ago, she gave the title to Oscar after Oscar won money in the bank. So I don't know. But I'm going to take Liv. And I think that Becky Lynch or Alexa Bliss is going to win. The next match that we're going to talk about on the card, it is Ronda Rousey versus Natalia for the SmackDown Women's Championship. And, you know, Ronda Rousey, since winning the winning the, the, the SmackDown Women's Championship, her title reign hasn't been like, you know, it just, she hasn't, she's defended it, but she's not like, 
You know, like, I would have loved to have seen Shayna Baszler in this match. Like, imagine Ronda and Shayna Baszler at a Money in the Bank pay-per-view. That would have been a banger of a show, a show stealer, and it just would have been awesome to see. But, you know, Ronda Rousey and Natalya have done their best to try to make this rivalry a little better. We saw Natalya dress up as Ronda and come out with a stroller, and I thought that was very well done, and it got me laughing a little bit. But, you know... I just feel like, you know, don't, I love my girl Natalia, but I just think that, you know, she, that there's somebody, there's other people that deserve this opportunity. So, you know, I still think that Ronda Rousey is going to win. Natalia is great in the ring. And I still think that they're going to put on a good match. But in the end, I'm going to take Ronda Rousey to still be your SmackDown Women's Champion. The next match, the other match, the other championship match on the card that we're going to talk about, or there's actually two other champion or three other championship matches. I'm sorry. All the titles are on the line besides the Intercontinental Championship. The next match that we're going to talk about, though, it is for the United States Champion. Theory, there he's taking selfies. He's trying to step up to the man, the myth, the legend. You can't see me, John Cena, this past Monday. He's trying to be like, if it's not, it's it's downtown, it's a town, it's my time, it's well, you know, get out of here, Theory. Just just try to focus on Lashley and your United States Championship match, and stop trying to do the fo- the pose off and try, you know, stop with the selfie thing, my guy. <laughs> Even though it's funny, but Lashley and Theory, I think have done a great way to build this rivalry and done, you know, I've grown to like Theory, and I think Theory could very well be. A main event picture guy, you know, he talked about being in the way and he talks about being with Selena Vega and Angel Garza. And I think Andrade for a second, there was still dirt right, but right when the pandemic started and everything, but you know, I've gone to really like him and I think he has definitely gotten better in the ring and listening to a few podcasts and everything. But him going up against the almighty Bobby Lashley, I like that Bobby Lashley has turned face now. I think that Bobby Lashley could do both. He's just one of those guys that is able to do both and he can be a good guy, a bad guy. We could love him. We could hate him. He's just very good at both. So, you know, I don't know if Lashley's going to win this match just because I feel like we're getting a match between John Cena and Theory at some point. And why not have the United States Championship either be on the line or something like that? Maybe Cena brings back the spinner belt. I don't know. But I just think that would be really cool. So I think I'm going to, I wouldn't mind seeing Lashley win, but I just think that in the end, Theory is going to take the championship and he's going to be riding high into SummerSlam as the United States champion. I almost said WWE championship. My bad, wrong championship. But speaking of championships, let's talk about the next championship match on the card. It is the EST of WWE, Bianca Belair versus Mella is money. Mella got rid of the face masks finally. She's coming out. She's looking bad as ever. Corey Graves, one lucky man. You know, we were supposed to see Bianca Belair versus Rhea Ripley, but sadly Rhea Ripley got hurt. And that wasn't the that wasn't the case, and it just wasn't meant to happen. I'm sure we're going to see that match down the road, though, because like I said with Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler, Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley is a match that I want to see also very badly. So Carmella versus Bianca Belair will do. And I think they'll still put on a good match. And, you know, Carmella changed characters. Like I said, she got rid of the face mask and everything. And she's, you know, she's, you know, she kind of reminds me of the character she had in the middle where she was like, Mella is money. She was with James with no chin. She was like, she was just that type of character. And, you know, I think that's where Mella, Carmella is the best at. So, you know, these two women are going to put on an absolute show. I think it's going to be a great championship match for the Raw Women's Championship. I think I said SmackDown. I keep messing up words, but it is for the Raw Women's Championship. Hopefully I said that right in the beginning, but if I didn't, at least I caught myself now. But in the end of this match, I'm still taking the EST to walk out of Money in the Bank. Still your Raw Women's Champion. And we'll have to see where this goes. I feel like one of the Money in the Bank winners is going to cash in. I just, if you've noticed the last few years, it seems that the night, the night of, the day after we see some type of cash in, we saw it with Alexa Bliss in Chicago. She did it. She won the second match of the night. She cashed in and she won the championship. We've seen it a few other times with Kane and stuff like that. So I just feel like whoever wins the money in the bank match for the women, if it's Alexa, if it's Becky, if it's maybe Liv, hopefully give Liv a shot. Hashtag you only live once deserves a shot. I don't know. That probably won't catch up. But 
I just think that whoever wins is going to try to cash in and it's going to set up something for SummerSlam. So that's my prediction for what's going to happen there. But I'm do, I still am going to take Bianca Belair to win the match. And we'll have to see what happens after. Find out Saturday. Come hang out with your boy Tino all night long on YouTube. Tino's time. Tino's time 1996 on Twitter, Instagram. Go follow your boy Tino. Come and hang out all night. And let's find out what happens during this match. But after that, and after the women put on a show, it is time for the unification tag team match between the Usos and the Street Profits. We want the smoke. We want the money. We just let's bring out let's bring out the party. Let's you know let's bring out the solo cups. You know, I'll, I'll act like I got a solo cup. Maybe I'll bring a solo cup on Monday or on uh, Saturday, and we'll have a good old time during the match. But the Usos versus the Street Profits. I really like how they're building this you know, rivalry and everything. And yes, we've seen a rant, a couple random, ta- random singles matches between both guys. Like we always do and everything like that. But I just feel like this is like, they have built it up to the point where like, I feel like the street profits have a shot. I really do feel like the street profits could take the tag titles away from the Usos or at least maybe one of them, maybe they win the match and they're like, well, we won. So we're take and you know, they take one titles and the Usos are like, will you beat us for one title or something like that? Possibly. Who knows? I don't know. I didn't even think we were going to see the unification tag team titles last this long. I heard a rumor back like a couple months ago that this wasn't even supposed to happen. So we'll have to see. But these four guys are going to put on show. Montez Ford looks like a future main inventor. D'Angelo and Angelo Dawkins doing his thing. The Usos had it running the bloodline, running the head of the table with Roman Reigns and everything like that. But as much as I think it's a possibility the Street Profits win, I'm going to take the Usos to win and still be the unified tag team champions. And they're still going to reign supreme. Maybe we'll see the presence of Roman Reigns. You know, he's not supposed to compete until SummerSlam. But that doesn't mean that we can't see the return of the big dog, Roman Reigns. We'll have to see, though. So, you know, now that we talked about all of those matches, let's talk about the main event. And I think that this should be the main event because I really don't think that, you know, I think you should start it off with one and then you end it with one. Let's talk about the men's money in the bank match because there's a lot of talk about into this match. There's a lot of build. There's a lot of different superstars. There's a lot of things. And as of this recording, there's still an open spot. There's, I don't even know. I thought we had a last chance money in the bank match on Monday with Riddle winning the Battle Royal and everything like that versus The Miz and whatever. But I I didn't even realize that there's still an open spot. So let's not waste any time and let's get into all of the competitors. And then I'm going to tell you my thinking of who I possibly think could be in the last spot. The first competitor, it's Seth freaking Rollins. You know, we saw Seth, he came out in his suit game. He's destroyed Cody Rhodes left and right. We've seen just Seth Rollins, Seth freaking Rollins. Drew McIntyre and Sheamus both were in the match. And then last Friday they did, and they acted like they were out of it. And then they had to win a tag team match. And then they were put back into it and yada, yada, yada. But Drew McIntyre and Sheamus are still in the match. So the other three competitors, though, are Omos, very one that I'm very surprised. But, I mean, I'm not shocked because at least they're giving the man an opportunity. It's somebody different, you know. We also have the conspiracy theory, the honorary Oos, Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn's trying to bring the money in the bank to the bloodline so then he could cash in on Brock Lesnar. But then that would mean Brock Lesnar would have to win at SummerSlam in the last man standing match. I don't know. We'll have to find out what happens. But Sami said, Sami Zayn said that he was going to cash in on Brock Lesnar. Maybe he'll cash in on Roman. Who knows? Then, lastly, the last competitor that is announced is Riddle. Riddle, bro, 420, RK, bro, just smoked your ass. Bro, I'm so happy he's in this match. I just said it. He won the match, the last chance, battle royal match, and he beat the Miz, and he was able to get in. But after Raw, I didn't even realize that there was an open spot. And, you know, it's just one of those things that maybe they'll do another last chance match on Friday because this is not, this is, you know, obviously is coming out before SmackDown. So, you know, we'll have to find out. Maybe we'll do another last chance match on SmackDown. Maybe we'll just see some random person added. Maybe they won't announce it. 
you know, maybe this was supposed to be the spot for Cody Rhodes. Maybe they're hoping Cody could come back, which I doubt. I mean, I don't really see how this man would come back after what just happened and everything that happened to him. But, I mean, we'll have to see. So, my prediction for this last person, <laughs> I, okay, so I'm going to tell you who I think it's going to who I think it's going to be, and nobody's going to want to see this guy. If they put Brock Lesnar in this match like they did a few years ago, and he comes out in the middle of the match and wins it, I'm literally throwing something at my TV, and I'm turning money in the bank off. Because there's no reason for him to win. He's facing Roman at SummerSlam in the last man standing match. He's got his opportunity. Let's build another star. So, you know, we obviously know Randy Orton is out. We obviously know other people are out. But I'm going to take somebody as an underdog, somebody that you might not expect. What I think it's going to be Mad Cat Moss. I don't know how. I don't know which way. But I think that Mad Cat Moss will find his way in the money in the bank. You know, he had the rivalry with, the rivalry with Corbin. He got out of the laughing gimmick. He's got just... Uh, black tights on now he's coming out he's beating everybody up and you know he's a guy that people are behind so why not give mad cat moss the uh, mad cat moss the opportunity to see what he can do but i feel like it's going to be brock lesnar and i feel like we're gonna i just i don't know why but uh, what if what if it's goldberg what if it's goldberg i mean i i don't know who is going to be the last competitor. It could be Vince McMahon, for God's sakes. The Vince, Vince Kennedy McMahon's music could hit. Shane's music could hit. I mean, why not give it to AJ Styles? You know, there's other people that could be in this match. Shelton Benjamin. Why Shelton has shown in other Money in the Bank matches at multiple WrestleManias that he could put on a show of Money in the Bank. So, I don't know. There's a lot of people that I think it could be. There's a lot of people that I know it could, that I possibly could be. But we ain't going to know. Until it's either announced or on Saturday when we're watching Money in the Bank and some random or random person music hits or it's the Beast Brock Lesnar and we all freak out and the Beast wins Money in the Bank. But I hope that does not happen. So my winner for Money in the Bank is going to be Riddle. I'm taking Riddle. I think it's time for Bro to get his Money in the Bank opportunity. It's time for him to go take the cash in, take the, take the briefcase, take the contract, and, you know, he had that great match versus Roman Reigns, and he lost, so he really can't face Roman Reigns. But if he has money in the bank briefcase, he can. What if Randy comes back and helps him? Obviously, we won't see Randy compete until next year. I think next year's money in the or next year's Royal Rumble match is going to be a banger, people. We're going to see the return of Cody Rhodes. We're going to see the return of just so many people that maybe we'll see the return of The Rock. Who knows, maybe AEW and WWE will be working with, with each other by then, and then we could see some type of thing together. WWE times AEW, I'm down for it. AEW, AEW, <laughs> whatever. But in the end, I'm going to take Riddle to win this match. That's my prediction. But I've heard a lot of rumors that Seth freaking Rollins could win this match. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. And, you know, he's talked about and they teased Heisen Century 2 one of the best cash-ins ever, you know, it just, it could happen, but I'm going to stick to my gut and I'm sticking with my man Riddle. And we're going to sit there on Saturday night after he wins the briefcase, we're going to say, RK bro, just smoked your ass. So that's who I'm taking to win the men's money in the bank match. And after all these six matches are done, we're going to have a new Mr. And Mrs. Money in the bank. Maybe we'll have some new championships. I don't know people. Money's going to fall on Saturday night. It's going to be one hell of a time. So make sure to come and hang out with your boy Tino all night long on YouTube. Tino's time. Tino's time, 1996. Everywhere you listen to your podcast, Spotify, Instagram. That's not a pod, podcast platform. But Spotify, YouTube, everywhere that you listen to your podcast. Go check your boy Tino out. Tino's time and Tino's time wrestling. I hope, I hope everybody enjoyed this episode, this Money in the Bank preview episode. Let's see if I get any of my predictions right, because as you guys know in the past, I really suck at predictions. So we'll have to see what happens on Saturday. I hope everybody enjoyed Blood and Guts last night. That was awesome. AEW's version of War Games. It is Thursday. We are close. We're on the road. 
We got Friday Night SmackDown tomorrow. Make sure to come and hang out with your boy Tino. Maybe we'll find out who that last member of the Men's Money in the Bank is. Then Saturday, make sure to come and hang out with Tino all night long on YouTube for Money in the Bank. And let's watch these six matches that are going to go down. And let's have one hell of a night because your boy Tino's been gaining momentum and we've been having a good old time. So thank you, everybody. Thank you to my man, SCW, again, for letting me come on that Money in the Bank, the greatest Money in the Bank matches ever. And until we see you for Friday Night SmackDown live tomorrow on Fox, this is your boy, Tino, signing.